In this lesson on getting started with Autodesk Inventor, we're going to discuss the screen layout and getting started toolbar, data management using Inventor project files, and project setup. To get started with Autodesk Inventor depends on the type of workstation and the particular software configuration that you are using. With most Windows systems, you may select Autodesk Inventor on the Start menu, or you can select Autodesk Inventor icon on the desktop. The Inventor window appears on the screen with the Get Started Toolbar options activated. I want you to look at the Get Started Toolbar and see how it contains helpful information in regard to using the Inventor software. For example, if we click What's New, it will bring up the internet browser which contains the list of new features that are included in this release of Autodesk Inventor. When starting a new CAD file, the first thing we should do is to choose the units we would like to use. We will use the English feet and inches setting for this example. We want to select the new icon. The new option allows us to start a new modeling task which can be creating a new model or several other modeling tasks. We want to select the ENUS English tab in the new file dialog box. We want to select the standard.ipt icon. The different icons are templates for the different modeling tasks. The IDW file type stands for drawing file, the IAM file type stands for assembly file, and the IPT file type stands for part file. The IPN file type stands for assembly presentation. The default Autodesk Inventor drawing screen contains the pull down menus, the standard toolbar, the features toolbar, the sketch toolbar, the drawing area, the browser area, and the status bar. The ribbon toolbar is composed of a series of tool panels which are organized into tabs labeled by task. The ribbon provides a compact palette for all of the tools necessary to accomplish the different modeling tasks. The drop down arrow next to any icon indicates additional commands are available on the expanded panel. Access the expanded panel by clicking on the drop down arrow. The file menu at the upper left corner of the main window contains tools for all file related operations such as open, save, export, etc. The quick access toolbar at the top of the inventor window allows us quick access to file related commands and to undo, redo the last operations. The help options panel provides us with multiple options to access online help for Autodesk Inventor. The 3D Model Toolbar provides tools for creating the different types of 3D features such as Extrude, Revolve, Sweep, etc. The Graphics window is the area where models and drawings are displayed. The Message and Status Bar area shows a single line help when the cursor is on top of an icon. This area also displays information pertinent to the active operation. Autodesk Inventor utilizes the mouse buttons extensively. It is important to understand the basic functions of the mouse buttons. It's highly recommended that you use a mouse or a tablet with Autodesk Inventor since the package uses the buttons for various functions. The left mouse button is used for most operations such as selecting menus and icons or picking graphic entities. The right mouse button is used to bring up additional available options. The software also utilizes the right mouse button the same as the enter key and is often used to accept the default setting to a prompt or to end a process. The middle mouse button or wheel can be used to pan, you hold down the wheel button and drag the mouse, or to zoom, you turn the wheel. The escape button cancels commands. It is used to cancel command in Autodesk Inventor. Sometimes it may be necessary to press the escape key twice to cancel a command. There are several types of help available at any time during an Autodesk Inventor session. Autodesk Inventor provides many help functions. You can use the Help button near the upper right corner of the Inventor window. You can press the F1 key to access the Inventor help system. Or you can use the Info Center to get information on a specific topic. But if we wanted to, we could go ahead and click Help, go to Help Topics. The online help system provides general help information such as command options and command references. With Autodesk Inventor, it's quite feasible to create designs without any regard to using the Autodesk Inventor data management system. 
Data management becomes critical for projects involving complex designs, especially when multiple team members are involved, or when we are working on integrating multiple design projects, or when it is necessary to share files among the design projects. The Autodesk Inventor Data Management System organizes files based on projects. Each project is identified with a main folder that can contain files and folders associated to the design. In Autodesk Inventor, a project file, the .ipj file, defines the locations of all files associated with the project, including templates and library files. The Autodesk Inventor data management system uses two types of projects, a single user project and an Autodesk Vault project. The single user project is for simpler projects where all project files are located on the same computer. The Autodesk Vault project is more suitable for projects requiring multiple users using a networked computer system. To get started, we click on the Get Started tab in the Ribbon Toolbar. We then click on the Projects tab. In the Projects Editor, you will see the default project is available. The default project is automatically active by default, and the default project does not define any location for files. In other words, the data management system is not used. We will create a new Inventor project using the Inventor built-in Single User Project option. We're going to click New to begin the setup of a new project file. When the dialog box pops up, we want to select the New Single User Project option, and then select Next. In the Project File Name input box, we're going to enter Parametric Modeling as the name of the new project. In the Project Folder input box, note the default folder location. You can choose a preferred folder name as the folder name of your new project. Then we will click Finish. A warning message appears on the screen indicating the specified folder does not exist. Click OK. A second warning message may appear on the screen indicating that the newly created project cannot be made active since the Inventor file is open. Go ahead and click OK on that as well. The new project has been created and its name appears in the project list area. Click Done to get out of that. An Inventor project file is actually a text file in XML format with an IPJ extension. The file specifies the paths to the folder containing the files in the project. To assure that links between files work properly, it is advised to add the locations for folders to the project file before working on model files. To leave Autodesk Inventor, go ahead and go up to the File menu and exit Autodesk Inventor Professional.